And finally, before we go to our bottom line editorial tonight, let's take a look at how uh, Twitter poll performed. And we did ask you earlier, do you think the protest by Ugandan opposition and peace over age limit debate is justifiable? 86% of you said yes and 14% of you said no. It means most of our viewers are in, ag in agreement with some of the opposition members of parliament and how they behaved yesterday. And finally, let's uh, cross over to our bottom line uh, tonight. And uh, fist fights and chair throwing broke out in Uganda's parliament a second day today ahead of a debate on whether to grant long serving President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni another fighting chance at the presidency. What we saw yesterday and today is nothing short of a scene straight out of an action packed movie as honorable members engage in an honorable behavior, exchanging blows, kicks, and some even use chairs to express their anger against fellow members. One may ask, does it have to degenerate to this? The sight of brawling, brawling politicians is totally out of touch with the norms of civilized parliamentary protocol. Such confrontational nature of politics reflects only one thing, the total disregard for the rule of law in a house where laws are made. Ironically, others see the move as an underhand attempt to extend President Museveni's rule. But again, let's call it as it is. The level of clampdown on the opposition by security forces only points to one thing. Uganda is turning into a police state. The executive in Uganda needs to know that East Africa is watching. Africa is watching and the whole world is also watching. The images that have become the public shame of the state known as the Pearl of Africa. And that's the bottom line tonight. My name is Yusuf Ibrahim. Many thanks for watching. Remember this program is aired every weeknight from Monday to Thursday from 10 to 11 p.m. See you tomorrow.